Hello and welcome back to the channel. So I have another truth bomb that I am going to be uh, dropping for you guys because it's important that we open up our eyes to reality and stop allowing ourselves to be bamboozled time and time again. It is actually very disturbing to watch how our people over the centuries have been bamboozled so easily. So we have this man um, on the screen here. Um, he's telling the truth about the dark side of Donald Trump's MAGA movement. And it's unbelievable to me the number of so-called black people who didn't even put this thought together. Now this was one of the first things that I thought about when the whole MAGA movement started, Make America Great Again. This guy explains it. And he explains it very briefly, and it didn't need a long explanation at all. But anyway, anyway, I want you to take a listen at what he says about this MAGA movement and what it actually meant for black people, because apparently some of our people allowed it to go right over their heads. Take a listen, and I'll be right back. Just ask yourself, from, from an African-American experience, when was it ever great in America for the African-American? When was it great? So if you're making it great again, it's not including them. Okay, that was very, very quite simply put. Like I said, the whole MAGA movement, in my opinion, uh, did not need explaining. When you say make America great again, automatically so-called black people should have said to themselves, okay, at what point was America great? What point in time is he saying make America great again? As if we're talking about days going by, we're talking about the past. We're not talking about the present, the past. What time in the past was America great for black people? And for that to go over some of our people's head to where they didn't even question what he meant, even though he himself has shown time and time again exactly what he means. But again, we're so easily bamboozled by celebrities and uh, things that make us feel good or uh, just a quick, simple, good, kind word that a person says or the fact that he was a famous uh, celebrity type fella in the past. You can't get that stuff out of your head. So you want this guy to lord over you as a president. We've made it very clear on this channel that Republican or Democrat, we don't care. They are two sides of the same coin. That there has never been a time in, his, in history to where so-called Republicans, or I'm sorry, so-called black people have been good under Republicans or Democrats or treated good. But we've tricked our own minds into thinking that these little tidbits of information that people are putting out there or this little clip about this or this clip about that is enough for us to endorse either one of these men. None of them deserves a vote from African-Americans. Neither of them de deserves support. I feel like this. You may say uh, the lesser of two evils is better for you. The lesser of two evils is never a good choice. I think, I think like this, it's better not to put your voice behind either one of them because they have both been very, very, Republicans and Democrats have been very, very racist towards black people. Now they can reach back and they can say that it was the Democrats who did this or it was the Democrats who did that. Now, what, what exactly have the, uh, the Republicans done for us? And what are they doing for us now? If you ask me Republican or Democrat, neither one of them deserves a black vote. I would just as soon, as I've said before, vote for Fred Flintstone or Barney Rubble. I would even give my vote to Wilma Flintstone before I would give it to either one of these men or put my name behind an endorsement for them. Of course, you all know, I believe that the Most High is gonna have whoever he wants in there because his plan is what's going to work out. There are some biblical prophecies that are too hard for some people to understand. It's not gonna be a righteous man in office. All you're gonna have is a man who's gonna carry out 
the exact plan that the Most High wants, even if that means some dark days ahead. Because it was prophesied that there would be dark days ahead. So, of course, there has got to be people in leadership that's going to help usher that in. How would that look if a, a righteous man filled with the Ruach HaKadosh, holy, speaking holy things, how would that look if you had a man like that leading the world when the scripture said he's going to give the earth into the hands of the wicked? And how would it even look based on biblical prophecy that we know certain things have to take place? A righteous man wouldn't do some of the things that a wicked man needs to do in order for biblical prophecy to take place. Now, I know for some of you that's going right over your head, but for those of you who understand what I'm talking about, the Most High created good and evil. And in order for the things that were prophesied to come up, come to pass, there have got to be a willing, demonic, wicked person in office to bring these things about. Y'all ain't hearing me. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, anyway, America's never been great for so-called black people. But for so many of you to join the MAGA movement, like you think this man is going to be the cause of your life going from zero to 100, that's delusional. We are not to look to man at all for our redemption. We're not to look to man at all to make our lives better. Why don't y'all ask for a slogan, make black lives better uh, again? Or make like black lives better because again wouldn't even fit for us. Because here in America, there has always been that foot on the neck. Just because you might not have it pressing as hard on yours as it is somebody else's, the foot on the neck still exists. Ask George Floyd. Ask Renisha McBride. Ask Ahmaud Aubrey. Ask Trayvon Martin. Ask Mike Brown. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, you can't ask them. They're no longer here. Because their, their lives were cut short because there is a system that exists that gives MAGA people in their minds the authority to do the things that they do. Hmm? They feel empowered to do these things because of people, people just like the MAGA king. And people just like Sleepy Biden. Because although you may have one that's more outspoken about their MAGA principles, let me tell you something. Don't think for one moment that Biden is not MAGA too. Don't think for one moment that in his mind, he don't want things to be a certain way too, because he does. I believe Biden is just as MAGA as Trump. Y'all ain't hear me. Anyway, if you understand biblical prophecy, the, script, the scripture actually says how our lives are going to be in the lands of our captivity. It also said how the Gentiles are going to be. They're playing their role. We're playing ours. The Most High's word has gone forth out of his mouth and it shall not return void. Biblical prophecy as stated will come to, ba come to pass. It's going to happen. The Most High is not a liar, so therefore it has to happen. So everything concerning us, everything concerning the Gentiles, it shall come to pass. So what this guy is talking about, he's just telling the truth. He's telling you that here in America, under their rulership, that America has never been great for so-called black people. So to have a president or endorse a president that says, make America great again, this guy, as he put it, I'm going to let him say it again. Take a listen. Just ask yourself from, from an African-American experience, when was it ever great in America for the African-American? When was it great? So if you're making it great again, it's not including them. How much more clear can you be? Anyway, y'all, chop it up in the comment section. Share this video. As always, uh, keep it tight and keep it right. But until the next live or the next video, stay prayed up.
We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share and like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.